Hi guys, as part of my Manny vs. Pin series, today I'll be working on this Water Splash Blob Cure. This was inspired by Eugenia, and her Instagram is Lacvid, which I'll be linking below if you'd like to check her out. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to apply my base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. And you can use whichever is your personal favorite. I'm just going to quickly go over the colors before I get started. And if you miss any, these will also be listed down below in the information box. I'm using all finger paints. We have Black Expressionism and Paper Mache as a basic black and white. And then Ink Bot Blue and 15 Minutes of Frame. And... This may show up as green on camera. It's really kind of like a very, very bright teal. And I'm also going to be using a small little lid, a little smaller than I usually use, so that hopefully I can fit it in frame and you can see me doing the mixing of the colors. So I want to get my blobbing colors ready before I get the base on my nail. So I'm going to dab out about a dot or two of each the blue the teal and the white and you want it to be a good amount so that you can almost kind of like scoop it onto your dotting tool and then let's see here I'm gonna go ahead and apply a pretty thick coat of the black you want it to be thick enough that the blobs will spread out a little bit on their own, but not so thick that it goes like all over the place. Then with my large dotting tool, I'm going to go ahead and just swirl through the colors, scoop some up, and dot it onto the nail. And you don't want to mix it too much, you want to keep that kind of marbled look to the blobs. And I'm going to try and squeeze some in on the sides. It's kind of tricky on my pinky nail. I think it'll be a little easier on my other nails. But I'm just going to... I'm going to do a new set of blob drips, if that's what you want to call them, for each nail just to get enough polish and keep the swirls and on my right hand my nails are actually a little shorter than my left hand so that will just be slightly fewer dots per nail. want to give it at least several minutes to set. If you try and go on with your top coat too quickly, you can smear this design since it is a little thick. But also because it's thick, you want that quick dry to help out and do its job. So as usual, I'm going to be finishing off with Sesh Feet.
So here's the finished manicure and I'm really really happy with how this turned out. As soon as I saw it I really wanted to try it and it actually jumped ahead of a couple other manicures that I was planning. So I'm really pleased that it came out so close to my inspiration. Obviously with this kind of a technique it's not going to be identical. But if you'd like a closer look at the original, I'll have a link to that down in the information box, as well as a link to Eugenia's Instagram page, Lacvid, where you can check out some of her other manicures. And let me just tell you, she is like a blobicure master. She is amazingly precise with a technique that I would say is very imprecise. So I would highly recommend checking her out. And I did want to show you guys some of my testing. I played around with quite a few blues before I finally settled on these. I think both of these over here are the colors that I actually used on my nails. This was with a couple of other finger paint blues. I think these two were with the OPI color paints. And I'm pretty sure this one was with some China Glaze blues. And as you know, if you're a longtime subscriber, purple is my favorite color. So I did play around a little bit with some purples, but I wasn't super happy with how these turned out. So I decided to stick with the original blue. I definitely think I'll come back and revisit this with some other colors, either purple or maybe some other combinations. So let me know what you think. I feel like this is a really fun new twist on the Blobicure idea. And also let me know what you think about seeing me do both hands on video. I am right handed so generally I show my left hand. But I've had several people comment lately that they really appreciate that I do both hands. And so I thought it might be a good idea to actually start showing that. And to give some kind of tips and tricks for working with your non-dominant hand when I have some tips and tricks. In this case, I really didn't. It's mainly the same on both hands. Although I will say, make sure you find a way that it's comfortable for you to hold the dotting tool with your non-dominant hand. It may or may not be the same as it is with your dominant hand. For me, it's definitely not. But... Let me know on all that down in the comments. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.